Okay, everyone, this is the final fight this evening, the one that we've all been waiting for very patiently. This is the final of the 147 pound Global House eight man tournament between both fighters from Thailand. In the blue corner, we have Banchai Gratiam Wittia School. He is 25 years old, 173 centimeters tall, 65 fights on his record, 48 victories, 12 defeats, and five draws. He is from Thailand. He's from Surin province in the northeast of Thailand, and he trains out of Gratiam Wittia School. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he goes by the name of Ombak Sitsalawatsua. He's 30 years of age, trying to 72 centimeters tall, has a total of 69 fights, 51 victories, 15 losses, and three draws. He currently trains out of Sitsalawatsua, and he's from Chachung Sao province. I mean, speaking of Sitsalawatsua Jim, the fighters they have produced in the past, exceptional. We have Kompet, Gong Suk, and of course, Pet Pool Thai. All of them big names now in the Muay Thai industry. Yeah, Kompet, multiple Channel 7 and Lumpini champion. Also, his fellow teammate that you mentioned, Gong Suk, Lumpini stadium champion and Channel 7, and also Fight of the Year at 1.2. And Pet Pool Thai, same thing, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're the expert. I'll, I'll take you on that. <laughs> I thought you were the stats guy. <laughs> yep, not on, not on Pet Putai, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you're, you are right. It's, it's, our, it's a gym there. It is such a good gym in in, um, chat, in Summit Prakan, I think it is. From talking to the boss last time that Ombak fought here. And Ombak really stole the show a few months ago when he knocked out, I think it was Ali Reza from Sordechaban with a high kick, as soon as Ali Reza was throwing his low kick, he dropped his, ar his arm, and at the same time, Ombak delivered this devastating high kick that knocks Ali Reza right out. I mean, I was looking at the reactions for the fans in the stadium, everyone's jaws just dropped. I mean, that's how good the high kick was. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't believe it too. It knocked us out when we were sitting and commentating on the fight. Oh, yes. Beautiful uh violence, I like to call it. So let's see, so this will be three three-minute rounds of Muay Thai action. The winner will receive the prize money and the belt, the title of the Global House tournament, and could go on to bigger things. You never know, winners of this tournament have gone on to one Lumpini. Let's see if one of these two can. And so far, it is a slow start. I mean, about these tournament finals, neither fighter wants to be the first one to make a mistake. Ombak, though, he has a huge following. He does have a lot of fans here at the stadium supporting him. Not too far for Ombak to travel, as he said. Does train in Bangkok. As for Panchai, lives all the way in South Isan, Sarin province. I believe that's about an eight-hour journey. Maybe a little bit more. Yep. But I think Ombak is training at Fairtex now. I think I saw him training. The Sitsau would still have a bit of a deal with Fairtex right now, where even their fighters will still be registered with Sitsau would still, but they'll end up going to train at Fairtex to get the experience because they want to get into one championship. Oh, good knee there for Ombak. But I don't think there's a physical Sitsau would gym anymore. I think it's just a name. Could be. But Ombak certainly still using the Sitsuratsu name, a very proud name for many fighters. Definitely holds a lot of clout in the Muay Thai world and Muay Thai industry here in Thailand. Absolutely. Good kick and a teep there from Panchai. Shot to the body there, and a kick returned by Ombak. Ombak happy to play the counter game against Panchai. It's not usually his style, though. Ombak tends to like to attack first, trying to go for the sweep there, but good balance from Panchai. Nice jab there from Ombak. I mean, out of all the fighters that we named from Sitsaratsu, I've got to admit, Ombak is one of the older ones in the gym. So you got to wonder, how does that make him feel when he sees the younger lads having a lot of success? And he's here still trying to find it. But I mean, he's got experience though, that's the thing. He's 
got, well, about the same fight experience as we can see on paper, but I'm sure he's got, like, many more fights out of that. That's probably just the fights he's had in Bangkok, not, not including the ones that he's had in the provinces. Yep, it's the registered fights, so to speak. The official fights. Ten seconds to go in the round. It's been very tit for tat between these two. And that is it, end of round one. We'll see you in round two. Here we go, coming into the second round of action. Let's take a look at what happened in the first. On back, doing a good job of counterfighting. And you see that flying knee for Pachai. Surely going to score him a lot of points for that teeth to the face. Something a lot of fighters don't take a liking to at all. I mean, that's one way to really rile up your opponent, the teeth to the face. And there was one time where fighters wouldn't even throw that. Out of fear of disrespect. It's disrespectful because in Thai culture, the head is the most sacred part of the body and the foot is the most, well, it's just not the most sacred. It's the dirtiest because you're always like walking outside and you're getting your foot dirty and whatever. So if you teep your opponent in the face, it's shown as huge disrespect. Good sweep there from Panchai. Panchai now, step in knee and that lands on the mark. Well done there from Umbak. Umbak trying to get back into dominant clinch position once again, turning his opponent. Panchai now has his back on the ropes, and now Umbak with his back on the ropes. Both of them battling out for dominant position in the clinch, and what an elbow there from Umbak to the delight of the fans here at Lumpini Boxing Stadium. Very nice sweep from Umbak, who seems very much in the driver's seat at the moment, and a counter elbow by Umbak. To the clinch we go again. Side knees coming in from Panchai. Not landing very well, I must say, though. Both fighters now trading kicks. And a good elbow from Umbak. I'm really liking this elbow accuracy from Umbak. Something we haven't seen so often, though, from Umbak in the past. Yeah, much more of a kicker. Great balance there from Umbak. But really hard return there from Panchai. Oh, just trying to bend Panchai's body like an accordion there. It's not very comfortable, is it, Ali, having your head bent back like that? No, definitely not. Takes a lot of energy from you as well. And there you see Panchai is down. Can he get up? It doesn't look like it. And that is it. That is it, Umbak is the Global House eight-man tournament champion at 147 pounds. Winning it in spectacular fashion. What a shot. That completely sucks the life out of Panchai and he's still being tended to by the doctor at ringside. Oh, that was a delightful moment there from Umbak. Perhaps the one Sitsarazzo fighter not to have won a title yet. And now he does it in style. Great counter. Catch the kick, knee. That landed flush. Really fast as well from on back. He couldn't ask for anything more.
Banchai just couldn't recover, unfortunately. That hit him in the sweet spot. Okay, that is it for myself and my commentary partner, Kevin Amlid. We will see you next week. Let's go, guys. For this time, this is the World Cup Global House 8 Man Tournament. Champion Chimp, the champion of the world. And the champion of the world. The champion of the world. And the champion of the world. 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 เดี๋ยวตอนนี้เราพักสักครู่เดี๋ยวกลับมามอบของรางวัลกันสักครู่เดียวครับเอาดับเบิลซีสุดบุญ